Each wear pad must be marked and drilled. You will use the hole in the washer from the bolt kit as a guide to mark the wear pad for hole drilling. It is important to use the recommended drill bit. First you must locate the top of the wear pad. Each wear pad has a picture in the installation instructions to assist you in finding the top. In general, the top is located on the wear pad's shorter, flat side. Mark the location as top. I put a T here to mark it. We determine the EWP wear pad hole placement by using the 5 16 washers. And you want to be flush here and flush on that edge there. Make your drill hole like so. Same, same thing on this side. This takes two fasteners. Okay, so we've got that marked and uh, that was the HH1. You will use the wear pad that has been drilled as a guide to mark the OEM hanger for hole drilling. Place the hanger wear pad onto the underside of the OEM hanger. The wear pad should be positioned so that the 5 16th wear pad holes are on the axle side of the OEM hanger. Also make sure that the wear pad is in the center of the width of the hanger. The gap should be even on both sides. Using your pre-drilled wear pad holes as a guide mark, mark the spots that you will be drilling into the OEM hanger. Remove and set aside the hanger wear pad until bolt installation. Drill the 5 16 holes into the OEM hanger at the marked location. Make sure you are using the correct drill bit. Place the wear pad onto the underside of the OEM hanger and line up both holes. Hold the wear pad in place. Place the 5 16 washer on the wear pad over the drilled hole. Put the threads of the bolt through the flat washer, then the wear pad, then the OEM hanger. Make sure that the flat washer is directly on the wear pad. Same for the second hole. Secure the bolt in place with a self-locking nut. And repeat for the second bolt. Get that one. So here's the uh, proper installation of the wear pad for the HH1.